Hey guys, Congresswoman Kat Kamak here, and I uh, wanted to, one, wish you all a very happy new year. I hope y'all's Christmas was phenomenal. I hope you got some time to relax and spend quality time with friends and family. But um, uh, just wanted to check in with you guys, being the first day of the year, even though it is weekend. And um, it's been a little bit since I was able to do a Facebook Live, but wanted to, like I said, just check in and wish you a very happy new year and um, give you guys a bit of good news. So, um, as you guys know, our team has continued to work on getting our Americans back home from Afghanistan. And we had um, a pretty exciting announcement here recently. I, I can't, I, I legitimately cannot say enough about our team. Every single person on our team is incredible. They bring an expertise, a positive attitude, a work ethic that is unparalleled. It is truly the most incredible team of patriots that fight every day because they love our country. And um, they have been working nonstop since the debacle in Afghanistan, actually before, I mean, um, even before um, Biden botched the, the withdrawal out of Afghanistan, they were working on all kinds of issues with um, Afghanistan. But when the withdrawal got messed up as badly as it did, and we had Americans that got left behind, we had aid workers, we had students, we had translators, we had um, missionaries, we had a, a ton of people that were left behind. And the White House was quick to say that there were no issues and that it was mission complete. Well, we said that it was not a, a mission complete until every single American had their boots on American soil. And so our team has been working nonstop. At one point um, during the height of the withdrawal, our team actually went from a normal work schedule to 24-7, where they were covering shifts 24 hours a day. And by that, I mean, there was someone in our office who was answering phones at two o'clock in the morning, responding to emails, calling the State Department, pushing the DOD. I mean, it was incredible. And it just goes to show you the level of dedication and persistence that this team has. And um, being it the that is the first day of the new year of 2022, I wanted to start off with a very positive announcement, and that is... Because of our team, uh, major, major shout out and thanks to Dorothy in our office, who is a total rock star, and we couldn't do any of this without her. She has been spearheading the effort, the Afghanistan efforts in our office. Um, she gave us the great news that an additional four Americans have made it out of Afghanistan. And these are all Americans that are from our district. They have ties to our district. And... Um, it's just incredible the work that gets done behind the scenes that no one knows about that um, people tend to forget because it's not in the news. And um, I just, I couldn't be, again, more thankful for the work that this team does on behalf of our district, but also the country. It's pretty remarkable. And for all of you that have reached out to our office over the past um, year, uh, and, and given encouraging remarks and um, it's just, I mean, we get calls from all over the country and our team, they absolutely love it because they talk to people, not just from here and in North Florida, but literally, I mean, I think last week somebody talked to uh, somebody from Alaska and it's just been so encouraging and overwhelmingly positive and I can't thank you guys enough for the support because those calls mean the world to our team and it really shows that there are people out there that have their backs um, just as much as they have got yours and so I'm just really um, proud really 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 proud of our team and just wanted to give you guys a little bit of good news great news actually on the very first day of the year and hopefully that sets the tone for what's to come in 2022. Make no mistake, we have got a lot of challenges ahead of us, 
but we are going to not only continue to get our Americans home, we are going to win our re-election so that we can continue the work of putting America first. We are going to overwhelmingly take back the House, and um, that's a very, very important part of what we have planned for executing on our America First agenda. And that's everything from securing our borders, bringing our folks home, um, getting inflation under control, holding this administration and past administrations accountable for their absolute subversion and disregard for the law. And um, it's going to be one for the books, y'all. And so we are so excited and we work really, really hard, but y'all haven't seen nothing yet. You guys are going to see something pretty incredible in 2022. Um, I know that this is a super casual thing. I'm literally sitting on the couch, um, but um, just wanted to, to share this news with you because I thought it was so important. Let me unplug my phone. I thought it was so important. Ooh. Um, and uh, I just... Yeah, sorry, that's a Coors Light pool stick by. <laughs> um, I'm I'm sitting I'm sitting here in the living room. Um, but the thing that the thing that I'm just so excited about is the plans that um, we have been working on, the 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 incredible success that the country is going to experience here and the opportunities that will be endless for every single American, once we are able to actually break this stranglehold that the federal government has on every single one of us. I mean, we have got to get back to a very limited government that believes in the individual and the power of liberty and freedom and what that does um, in terms of in unleashing just incredible economic prosperity. And I'm just, I, I know you guys can see it in my face because I get excited talking about this. This year is going to be amazing, and we've had a lot of crappy years. I know 2020 was really tough. I know 2021 was pretty awful, but our best days are ahead of us, and no matter the challenges that we have been facing as a country or the challenges that you have been facing personally, because I know we all have our own battles, it's going to get better. And so I'm just very, very hopeful for 2022 and resolute in my resolutions to help take back the house and to deliver results for my district and the state and the country. And um, I'll do a more formal update um, at the beginning of the week, but just with the news of getting some more folks out of Afghanistan, I just really wanted to share that with you guys because I know that the very first day of the year can set the tone for uh, how the rest of uh, the 300 and at this point, I guess 364 days, not 365, but 364 days will go. So just really excited. Wanted to share that with you guys. Again, I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Uh, my decorations are still up. And so Matt and I will be working on getting all of those down um, tomorrow because come Monday, it's game on. So you guys... Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your continued endless support and um, yeah, good things ahead. Take care.